So we're going to keep this rolling with uh, Mr. Punisher Hudson uh, and his questions. Uh, he's got about five questions for me. Uh, first question is, what kind of video game character would you like to be? Um, oh, and he also says that a character who's only been in video games. Okay. Uh, I'd have to be, like, if I could pick anyone, seriously, uh, it would have to be Sub-Zero or someone from Mortal Kombat, definitely. Uh, just to have that, like, Sub-Zero problem, or Baraka. Baraka would be kind of cool, being Baraka. Just shoot those blades out and, like, kill someone, like, someone was pissing me off. Just go, shh, slice his head off when he's not, when he's just rambling on and on, and you go, hmm, fatality, bitch. That'd be kind of awesome, so. Someone from Mortal Kombat, definitely. Or, um, uh... Honestly, uh, if I could, if I could have reuse powers, like I, if I could do a Hadouken, that'd be awesome. Um, that'd be kind of cool. So, uh, good. Uh, your second question: Hulk, who would win, Hulk versus Bane? Uh, Hulk. That's not really a contest. Bane. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bane is a good fighter, and he gets stronger with the venom, but Hulk is now, he's now smarter in the comics. He's now has Banner's intelligence, and he still gets stronger the matter he gets. And he's, he can lift a hundred tons easily before getting even angry, so... It's kind of, and he also has warrior training now, so... It's kind of a Hulk right now. Um... Third question. Would you like... Do you, you think the Punisher and Batman should have another new and modern crossover? Yeah, man. I've, I've been asked this question a bunch of times, and I keep saying, yeah. I mean, I love the first two crossovers, the, um, the one where, you, uh, where, uh, Jean Paul Val, uh, Jean Paul Valley met Frank Castle, that was a great team up, and the Chuck Dixon one where we saw Batman and, uh, Bruce Wayne and the Punisher team up in that one, that was great, uh, great artwork, by the way, might add, by John Romita Jr., um, I loved how he drew Batman, uh, but yeah, I'd like to see now with Punisher and the Dick Gr and Dick Grayson Batman. I'd like to see that, or even like have him team up again with Bruce Wayne, um, because now Batman's doing Batman Incorporated, and he's all over the world now. Uh, so there's that. Uh, your f fourth question is: Have you read the Preacher comics, and what do you think? Um, I read them. I I I tried getting into Preacher. But I don't know. It, something just turned me off about it. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind Garth... I like Punisher Max, the Garth Ennis stuff, but... I don't know. He's just out of his mind. He's just freaking insane when he's doing his own original stuff. Uh, I mean, if you like Pre Preacher, that's cool. I got no problem with it, but... I tried really hard to get into Preacher. I just couldn't do it. Uh, and your last question is... Your thoughts on the new TV show Young Justice? I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the new changes to it. Uh, this whole new universe called Earth Sixteen that you can do basically any. They can do basically do anything they want. Alternate universe. You can just make up your own shit um, and keep it out of continuity. That's a good. Um, that's a good idea. Um, I'm kind of wondering if they'll. However, I'm kind of wondering if they'll bring in. Well, actually, mention Garth, um, Aquaman's son, the original Aqualad. And uh, maybe they'll bring him as Tempest, or say he died. And I hope they mention that um, Aqu the new Aqualad is the father, is the son of Black Manta, which it is, he is in the comics. So, hoping for that. Um, I also want to see Crypto meet Superboy. That's and su I also definitely want to see Superboy Prime in here. I I know they've talked about having Superboy Prime in here. Um, I just really want to see that happen, like a Superboy Prime animated. That'd be epic for me. Uh, but it, it's good so far. I, I watched the the new episode, uh, like the official episode, not like the hour long preview they had that was broken into two parts. But that was really good. I really enjoyed the first episode. It was a good training mission. In the next ep episode, they're gonna have Bane in it. Awesome. And they're gonna have um, uh, the cult known as Cobra. And people have been. And I'm hoping that we don't not only get to see Bane in here, but maybe um, we'll get to see the Secret Six as well. 
just hope this just a random guess, but I'm real. I know it's like a fever dream, but um, that would just be awesome. But anyway, thank you for the questions, uh, Mr. Punisher Hudson. We're gonna move on to um, Richard the D. Uh, Richard the D says, "Have you played DC Universe Online? And if so, what do you think of it?" I have not yet. I I have not. Um, I I gotta save money for other stuff. I don't have a job. Uh, second question is, what's the strangest the tr strangest thing you've ever seen in comics or an animated series? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I think, like, um, the weirdest thing I've ever seen was, uh, it was a bunch of, there was a few Ren and Stimpy episodes I can mention. Those had some really acid-trippy moments. Uh, there's some weird stuff in Invader Zim. Comic books, not so much. I haven't seen a lot of stuff that makes me go, ooh, that's weird. But in Ren and Stimpy and Invader Zim, mostly that. <laughs> uh, your third... Qu yeah, that's your th third question. Have you seen the new Wolverine anime? No, I have not, because DirecTV does not show um, G4 anymore. Great job. Just when they were showing Iron Man and Wolverine, and now they're going to be showing X-Men and Blade soon, so great. i got to wait for the DVD release. Terrific. Anywho, um, your last thing is: What's is the nerdiest thing you've? Uh, what is the nerdiest thing you ever own? I don't know. I don't know if anything I have could be considered super nerdy, except I have, I, I passed up the two disc DVD collector set of Batman, of uh, the Bat of the Dark Knight, the two disc complete set of it, the Blu-ray and whatever. Uh, for the two box set that the, the special box set from Walmart that gave you the uh, Two Face coin, that's pr I guess you could count that. I passed that up for a Two Face coin, and I do actually use the Two Face coin for making decisions sometimes. I actually do. But uh, <clears throat> uh, that's thank you for those questions, uh, Richard the D. And I'm sorry if my voice like sounded weird there. I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> But again, thank you for those questions. And uh, we're going to move on to Nepsur. Nez Nezper. That's it, Nezper. Uh, he's got seven questions for me. First question is, what do you think of Rambo Raph for Life channel? I don't know. I mean, it's a movie review channel. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't paid much attention to it, honestly. So I'm, I'm not the person to ask that question, so... Uh, but your second question is, most anticipated you are looking forward to to see in twenty. I guess m in most anticipated movie to see in twenty eleven, uh, Thor, Green Lantern, Cowboys and Aliens. Basically, like sixty percent of the movies coming out this year. Sixty, if not seventy percent of these mo of the movies. Um, third question is, have you ever seen the anime uh, the, of the anime called? Space Battleship Yamato or Space Ninja Team or I mean Science Ninja Team Gotcha Man I've seen a little of it not a lot but a little here and there just little bits and pieces and it's alright I, I need to get into it more though uh, what do you think of 3D in movies these days that's your fourth question uh, hate it hate 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 it um, I'm glad The Dark Knight Rises will not be in 3D by the way but everything else why? Thor didn't need to be in 3D, and 2D's in select theaters. Ah! Great. It's just freaking great. Uh, I don't care about 3D. It just sucks. It hurts my eyes anyway. I do regret, however, not seeing Tron Legacy in 3D in the IMAX, because that would... I really would... Because I would have taken the headache for that. Because it would... It would it looked so beautiful on screen. Uh... But to answer your more or less bottom line, no, I do not like 3D in these days. Uh, as per your fifth question, because uh, I, I almost lost your place, sorry, dude. Uh, have you ever seen the move, the movie called Road to Perdition? Nope, no, I have not. I might want to check that out. But your sixth question is your thoughts on Cowboys and Aliens? That looks great. 
I really like it. I mean, John Favreau, the director of the first two Iron Man movies, is going to be doing it, so you know it's going to be really good. It, it looks like a fun movie, like a fun science fiction movie. I mean, when have we ever seen the alien invasion in, in like, the Western era? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, that's really a cool idea. And having Daniel Craig in there and Harrison Ford it, as the main actors, awesome! So, looking very looking forward to it. And my f your seventh question is your favorite manga series. Um, I don't have a manga series favorite anymore. Um, I more or less keep up with anime, uh, but manga series, I don't know. I've kind of like dropped out of it. But I I do occasionally read um, the the uh, Warcraft and Starcraft uh, manga series and the, some of the Star Trek mangas because I think that's kind of an interesting adaptation to it. But uh, more or less, no, I don't read a lot of mangas these days. But thank you for those questions. We're going to move on to... Uh, hmm. What else we got here? Uh, I, I wanted to save Sting's questions for last, as al um, always. Not to, sound, not to be mean or anything, I just... Uh, like, he's got the most questions. Just want to make a quick check to make sure everyone's... Okay. I guess I could start on uh, Sting's questions now because he's always got the most. Not that, not that it's a bad thing. I'm just say, saying that I like to keep everything in order. Uh, and we're gonna. His first two questions he asked me is, what would a judge would a Judge Dredd and Kratos crossover be awesome? Is it possible? Uh, I gotta be honest, Sting's. Uh, the only possibility I see of Kratos in the Judge Dredd universe is. Kratos killing everything. Like, there would be no stopping him in there. That'd be, like, impossible. Uh, your second question is, would Wesker and the Midnighter from The Authority make a very unique battle? Oh yeah, dude, it'd be a very unique battle. I'd really like to see the Albert Wesker versus a guy who can shut off his the pain in his body. And he eats like a Batman who kills people. That'd be, that'd be actually a really cool fight. Uh, your next question, um, what would happen if Marcus Phoenix had met Stormhawks or an X-Force? Alright, if Marcus Phoenix met the Stormhawks and X-Force, I think if he met the Stormhawks first, I think Marcus would be like, you kids ain't, he's like, when he's fighting alongside me, he's like, you gotta kill him, you get, and I think he'd be like, he feels like he's babysitting him, and he wouldn't like him much. Now with X-Force, he'd fit right in. If he was a mutant, he'd fit right in. But I think he'd really like to hang out, like to hang out with uh, Logan and the rest of them. Probably not so much Deadpool, but I think he'd really get along with Logan and uh, and Psylocke the most. I um that would be just kind of that's just me, I guess. Um, your uh, next question is: What would happen if Colossus became a gear from Gears of War? I think he couldn't do it. I think he couldn't do it because, I mean, I could see him fighting the monsters, but him handling all the bloodshed and all the people around, I think he wouldn't care much for being a uh, gear because he hates war. He more or less hates mindless violence. He doesn't care much for it. But uh, seeing him fight the monsters in Gears of War would be kind of cool. Seeing him hang, hang out, I think, he'd really, I think he'd really get along with, uh, um, with Cole. I think he'd really get along with Cole and Dom the most. Um, just hang out with them all the time. Maybe more, more so with Dominic, but uh, and maybe even Marcus, but probably not Baird. He wouldn't like hanging out with Baird. I don't think he'd ha like hanging out with Baird much. Uh, I think I'm gonna answer the rest of Stings's questions in the next video. And then we're gonna move on to the questions I'm gonna ask uh, to you guys. So uh, I'll see you guys then.